Hey there, mama friend, and welcome to the 5-Minute Mom Podcast, where we'll talk about real life, real faith, real fast. To learn more about all of our co-hosts or to sign up for a free monthly resource email, be sure to check out all the links in the podcast show notes. Well, hey friends, welcome back to the podcast. I am so excited to announce that in these weeks leading up to Easter, also known as Lent, we'll be walking through a special series. Lent is a time to reflect on our human bent for sin and the magnificent gift of Christ's sacrifice on the cross and the power of his resurrection. Because of this special time for our five-minute monologues during Lent, I'll be featuring short prayers to help point your heart toward Christ and recenter you during this holy time. I pray that God meets you in a special way during our time together in the coming weeks. I have taken most of today's prayer for my reflections on Ephesians 4. Father, Lent is a season set apart to reflect on what you've done for us on the cross and to rejoice in your resurrection. But because of your love that took action, we must do more than think on who you are and what you've done. We must let it transform us. Lent is a time where many of us lay things aside to focus more fully on you. Because you have conquered sin and death, you invite us to become new creations in you daily. There are so many things that you tell us to put off. You urge us not to live as the world lives anymore, but to live according to the truth that we now know. Help us to be set apart, to be different, to be awake in a land of sleepwalkers to be alive in a time when many choose a path that leads to death. Help us to put off idolatry, envy, malice, jealousy, selfish ambition, spirits of heaviness, disunity, our hard hearts, lies, anger, bitterness, greed, unwholesome talk. Oh, how our hearts are prone to wander. But help us not to stop with removing impurities. Clothe us in your righteousness, a stunning replacement. Help us to put on compassion, love, healing, truth, forgiveness, garments of praise, edifying words, gratefulness, fruitfulness, the armor of God and holiness. Help us not to only use the Lenten season to kick trite habits, but to put off death and clothe ourselves in you, Christ. Your power has given us power. Colossians 2.12 says, Having been buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith in the powerful working of God, who raised him from the dead. Today we pray to shed our grave clothes and to robe ourselves with your royal garments of praise. You are worthy.